Good afternoon, it's Matt from Bandai of Ocala. Just want to thank you for your interest in this beautiful 2018 BMW 530e plug-in hybrid and also for choosing BMW of Ocala during your search. This beautiful 530e that I do have here before me is going to be a black sapphire metallic exterior with a black Dakota leather interior. We're going to start things off up front. You'll notice it does have the active kidney grill. So we'll open and close for better aerodynamics and also for styling. It actually looks really, really cool. And with the 530E, it does have the blue slits in it to let you know that it is a hybrid compared to maybe a 530 gasoline or a diesel or anything like that. So it's a nice added on touch that BMW did do. It also has the full adaptive LED headlights. That's going to be part of the executive package that this vehicle has. It also has the LED fog lights down below. And you'll notice there with the fog lights, it does have a chrome accent there around it. That's part of the luxury package. Down below the kidney grill, you'll see it does have the sensor for the active cruise control. It also has the little round sensors there in the front bumper. We'll also find those in the rear bumper for the park distance control sensors for better parking. Also complementing the car very well is going to be the 19 inch light alloy wheels. These are an upgrade for the luxury package and they're also wrapped in the Goodyear run flat tires. And a good thing about the run flat tires is that you can actually go 50 miles at 50 miles an hour or less once the tire has been punctured to get to a safe location so you're not stuck on the side of the road in case you get a, a flat or anything. Another styling aspect of the vehicle with the luxury package is that little chrome piece behind the wheel. And also a badging of the letter I for the I performance with the 530E. We also have the E Drive logo here in the back. Something else that's different about the 530E compared to like maybe the 530i or any other gasoline vehicle is the fact that you actually have to push the button inside of the car to access the gas cap. So right here, most BMWs you do not have to push the button. It just locks and unlocks with the vehicle. But this one, it does have to depressurize because of it being an electric vehicle as well. So it does have to depressurize in that instance to be able to uh, access it, you have to hit the button. Coming along the back here, you'll notice it does have more of that chrome features along with the dual exhaust part of the luxury package. Full adaptive LED taillights and the backup camera is there underneath the uh, logo. 530E logo here. We'll go ahead and take a look into the trunk. The trunk can be accessed with that little button I just pressed there underneath the logo. You could also use the key fob or kick to open feature. So all you'd have to do is just do like a swift kick up underneath the back bumper there and it'll allow the trunk to open as well. Here in the back we do have 14 and a half cubic feet of cargo space. Underneath here, a nice little area as well. It does have the 120 volt and 240 volt charger that does come with the vehicle. You also have just the 120, which is your level one right here. Nice and deep trunk there. Spots here to actually flip down the back seats all-weather mats and also the carpet mats are there in the plastic wrapping and then here you have the power tailgate
this side, just like the other, does have the E Drive logo right there on the uh, back quarter panel. Go ahead and go up here to this piece here. This is actually where we're going to charge the vehicle. So you just press on it to open it. There's your charger with a little indicator light here to let you know what state of charge it's at. So it'll just uh, blink at you, yellow, blue, green, or red. Yellow just means that it's uh, initializing. Blue means it's charging. Green will mean it's fully charged. And then red will mean there's some kind of fault. And the vehicle does take anywhere from an hour and a half up to about six hours to charge, depending on uh, a couple different features or a couple different uh, things, which will be one, how much battery you currently have in the car, whether it's charging from 0% up or if it's charging 20% or up or anything like that, that would influence how fast it charges. But the main thing would be the actual charger itself, whether it's a level one or two. So level one is obviously going to be a little bit slower because it is 120 volt. But if you have the 240 volt, it will charge faster. And you find those in public areas like uh, BMW, for instance. I'll go ahead and review the sticker here. 2018 530E. Black Sapphire Metallic. Black Dakota Leather Interior. Driver Assistance Package with the heads-up display active blind spot detection in the lane departure warning. You also have driving assistance plus package two. It's gonna give you your active driving assistant, your luxury package. The executive package gives us the soft close automatic doors, adaptive full LED headlights, automatic high beams, parking assistant plus, dynamic digital cluster, active park distance control, rear view camera, and the surround view camera system. The premium package two gives us the power tailgate, the keyless entry, the heated front seats, satellite radio, and gesture control. A couple standalone items on here are gonna be the 19 inch light alloy wheels, wireless charging, Hummer card and sound system, and the wheel locks. Review the sticker right over here. So if you do do the charging, which is going to be your plug-in hybrid, it's going to be the 72 mile per gallon estimate. Most of that's going to come from in-city driving, so keep that in mind. And you also can do just gasoline without the electric at all, and you'll average somewhere around 29 miles per gallon. So as you'd imagine, this vehicle, the primary use of this would actually be an in-city driver to get you the better gas efficiency because it allows you to run mostly on electric and less gas. So you do have the keyless entry on all four of the doors. A nice wood trim you'll find all throughout the vehicle here. This is a new trim package that is uh, found on the 2018 and newer models. So that's nice there. A nice black Dakota leather interior with a dark oyster trim. So you'll see the dark oyster there in the leather. It is a three passenger here in the back, so you can have three people here or two car seats. It does have the rear ventilation with two power adapters there in the middle. The seats will fold down. You have to take the center seat belt off, but uh, they do fold down, as you can see here. More of that wood trim. And something I did forget to mention is going to be that this vehicle was redesigned in 2017, so it's a brand new body style. And the 530E, the plug-in hybrid, which is this vehicle here, was uh, not available until 2018. So this is the first year of this specific model coming out.
Push button start. So it does have the upgraded gauge cluster for the hybrid because it does give you some additional information. Mostly over here on the right hand side we'll have actually a battery meter to show you how much battery is currently in the vehicle. And you also have a charge meter here. And the charge meter does double as a uh, RPM gauge for the gasoline engine. Inside of this one right here, this little white box, that's actually going to show you your current speed in the zone that you're traveling. And if you change into different driving modes, it's going to change the look of your gauges. So like right now we're in sport mode. So it does do a traditional RPM gauge because this one's going to be using mostly your gas engine compared to your electric. Then you have your comfort, which is the mode that we were just in, and then your eco pro, which is going to give you your best gas efficiency if you were to use it in auto e drive or a max e drive setting. It does have a really nice sport steering wheel here. Cruise control and active driving assist is here. So with the active lane keeping assistant, it'll actually put you back into your lane and allow you to take your hands off of the steering wheel for up to 30 seconds. It's not recommended that you take your hand off the steering wheel while driving, but if needed, it allows you that extra 20 to 30 seconds to help pull you back into your lane. Right over here, it does have all your um, media controls along with your voice commands here. Behind the steering wheel over on this stock right over here it's going to be your turn signals but also your automatic high beams. So with the automatic high beams you can actually press that button, turn it on, and the high beams will turn on and off automatically depending on if there's anybody in the radar of the vehicle coming at you or if you're approaching somebody. Rain sensing wipers are on the other stock on the other side, which is going to be your wipers in general, but you can also trigger the automatic there as well. All your headlight options over here, depending on how you want to have those on, right down there on automatic. It does have the heads up display, as you can see it's out there blinking. It's going to show you your current speed and the speed limit in the zone you're traveling. You can also change the radio station, as you can see right there. And I'm doing that with the steering wheel. I'm going to trigger it right here. You can also change the mode to change to something different, like satellite radio or AM, FM, whichever one you choose. And over on the heads up display, you'll also be able to see your navigation turn by turn if you're currently using it. does have a really nice full HD display here in the middle and that's where it'll show all of your radio, your Bluetooth, your navigation, all your camera systems, everything like that. So there's your map. A good thing about this is going to be not only does it show you your current gas stations around you, but it's also going to show you your charging stations too so that you're able to find a charging station without a problem so you can uh, charge up the car. Because keep in mind, this is a plug-in hybrid. What I mean by that is you do have to plug it in, but if you're on the highway or anything like that where you're driving, you can put it into save battery mode to also charge the battery up to 100%. But while it's doing that, you're using only gas. And whenever you're using only gas, you are not getting the optimal gas efficiency that you could be getting. So you definitely want to charge it to get the better efficiency. does have the dual climate controls with the heated front seats. Here's a better angle of the wood trim. You can find that here. Two cup holders, USB port, and a wireless charging tray. Eight speed automatic transmission with the manual shift. Different driving modes, your Sport, Comfort, and Eco Pro we talked about this a few minutes ago. The E-Drive button. So this is an important button for the hybrid. 
This is the one that's going to actually trigger the different modes for the actual electric of the vehicle. Max E drive is the first one that's going to be a full electric driving up to 55 miles per hour if the car does have electricity in it. Battery control that's going to be to save the battery while you're driving. So it'll kick over the gasoline engine, charge the battery up while you're driving up to whatever you choose to set your target value at. So for instance, I'm going to select that and I can change it to whatever percentage I want. So I'm going to leave it at 100% because I'm, I want to have it charged while I'm driving all the way up. And then Auto E-Drive will do everything for you. The car will choose what it needs to do to get you the best performance and gas efficiency combined. Then you have a camera system which I'll pull up here. Surround view camera there on the left hand side and your backup camera on the right. And then you have just your backup camera. If I put the vehicle into drive, it'll actually put the front camera here on the right. So that's a front view, which you can tell right here. It does tell you front. Something that is uh, new for the 2017 and up BMWs with the auto feature here is going to be the fact of if it has the auto icon, you turn the wheel, it's actually going to turn that front camera or rear camera. That's something that's new. It's a nice feature to have. Electric parking brake, auto hold for the brake, and all your options for the screen, the iDrive controller we call it. Center console here with the USB and power adapter. There's a lot of stuff to learn on this vehicle, so I'm going through it as quick as I can while I'm talking so fast. But also keep in mind that we do have the BMW Geniuses that do go over this car with you in depth at the time of a purchase. So I am skipping over some of these things and trying to get through the video as quick as possible just to give you the basic information. And this one does have the blind spot detection and the lane keeping assistant collision warning pedestrian warning and another really cool one is going to be the active park distance control so a typical park distance control is going to just beep at you whenever you're getting close to hitting something front or back the active park distance control is going to be the same feature but it takes it a step further by actually stopping the car if you're getting close to hitting something. So if I'm pulling into the garage and I'm hitting the brakes but the car knows I'm not hitting the brake hard enough to come to a complete stop, it will intervene and hit the brakes harder for me to stop from hitting something whenever I'm pulling forward or reverse. So it's a really cool feature with the, uh, with the newer vehicles in the BMW lineup with the active park distance control. Last but not least, we'll check out the motor. Another cool thing is this little E-Drive chrome plate you'll find on the uh, inside of all four doors. So under the hood it does have a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder motor with the electric motors as well. 
does have plenty of crumple zones up here. As you can see, the struts here, crumple zones are up underneath over here. Battery is located in the back of the vehicle. Under the red cap there, you'll notice it does have jump points to be able to jump somebody if you need to. And that's uh, mostly because of the near 50-50 weight distribution. The 50-50 weight distribution is going to be because of better braking. In case of emergency stop situation, you can actually have more control of the vehicle because it's near 50-50. does have the dual hood latches, keeping that hood down nice and secure. So the vehicle does have 248 horsepower and 310 feet-pound of torque, and that is going to be combined. That's the gas and the electric motors combined together. Again, this was a short walk around of the 2018 BMW 530e plug-in hybrid, black sapphire metallic exterior with the black Dakota leather interior. This vehicle is currently for sale at BMW of Ocala. Keep in mind we do deliver. I will leave information in the description, a little bit more detail about this vehicle. And if there's anything more you'd like me to go into detail about, just let me know. I can make a separate video for a more detailed uh, on any of the features. Just wanted to do a quick video on it for you. But all kinds of stuff to this one. BMW Geniuses are at your disposal to help with any other questions that maybe uh, I was not able to answer. I do thank you very much for your interest in this vehicle and for choosing BMW Vocala during your search. We appreciate the opportunity to best serve you. Have a great rest of your day.